And that begs the question, where the hell is the patrol vessel, by the way? <laughs> well, there it is right there. Okay. So it's a Korat class cutter. All right, let's go um let's go mix it up with that thing and let's see what happens. Maybe we'll die horribly. I don't know. We'll see. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival on version 1.1.6. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're in this episode. We're going to do something. I have no idea what it is, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I've made some more changes to the base. Um, as you can see, I put rails in on a little walkway down here. Uh, we have finished the roof um, of the greenhouse, so that's all done. And I've got another crop plot in there, and I just threw down whatever, you know, seeds I had in the refrigerator for, for the moment. Um, and we're going to need, we actually, what we need is more uh, spoiled food, believe it or not, uh, in order to continue making more nutrient solution, which is what we need to make the crops and the rest of the seeds. Uh, but it's coming along pretty good. Uh, I did a little bit more upgrading of the normal concrete to reinforce concrete as well. We've had one attack by the Xerox. It was just a couple of drones that came in. We took them out, so no big deal there. And I added um, more storage space, more extensions to our input and output. So we now have uh, 10,000 and uh, no, we have 104,000 in each one of these. But as you can see, they're both really full. Um, all of the extra stuff, well, not all of it, but... A good portion of the stuff that you see in here is stuff that we salvaged from the um, the power the power station that we did in the last episode. So after I left you guys, I stayed there and just salvaged a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, we got like <clears throat> excuse me, we got like over four thousand titanium plates, and I put some of those in uh, or I left some of those in the. Uh, the horizon we got like over 4,000 steel plates and then i got some of those on the output uh, controller as well plus some cement for some more upgrades and then the stuff that you see in here uh, a lot of it anyways is also stuff that we salvaged like for example we got 64 heavy windows we got 17 antennas uh, 37 tech equipments 54 consoles etc etc so we pulled that stuff from the the power station now uh, one of the things that I want to do is, um, here, let's put all this input stuff back in here. I took those off the drones that we killed when they came in. Um, is I think I, it's time for us to make a deconstructor. Um, because when I'm salvaging all this stuff, some of it I would like to actually break down so we can get, you know, the the raw components from it. As, you know, I mean, a lot of it we, we want to feed into the factory, and, and I did feed some stuff into the factory. But I want to, I, you know, I want to get some of the rock components. So I think it's time for us to, to get ourselves a deconstructor. Um, let me see. What am I trying to do? Let's go to ammo and we'll put that stuff in there. Uh, the other, the one thing I am planning on doing in this episode is uh, we're going to go sell stuff. So if we look in the horizon in this, uh, I put all of the extra weapons and stuff that we've accumulated and we're gonna go sell as much of this stuff as we can so let's go ahead and go into the tech tree and we're gonna to go to base and we want to learn the uh, deconstructor and at some point you know we're gonna do a furnace too but right now we're just we're more concerned with the deconstructor now the question is do I have everything I need to make a deconstructor let's take a look I do look at that Huzzah! <laughs> All right, cool. Let's cancel that stuff. And um, I, I was a little bit concerned that I might not have enough stuff to make that, but we do. Um, hell, we can even make a, a new advanced constructor. Or what we could do is we could... Um, no, we better not do that until we can get to Tier 3. Um, so Tier 3, yeah, that's we're still looking for a Tier 3 upgrade to our capital vessel we have everything we need except for the two large optronic bridges can we even make one large optronic bridge let's take a look at that so that's going to be here that's a small nope let's ask cosium oscillators boy 80 oscillators that's <laughs> that's a lot of shit so we need a bunch of neo and a bunch of cobalt i think i have the titanium covered i mean we got so much titanium 
And I, I never actually raised that place all the way to the ground either. There's still a lot of blocks left that we could go back and get later at some point if we wanted to. Um, so, okay. So, yeah, a restroom is another thing we're very low on because uh, I need that for a lot of things, of course, but I, uh, one of those being the rockets that my rocket launchers, uh, or rocket turrets, rather, on the base fire. So we might, uh, we might go, you know, do some exploration here very soon in our very near future. That sucker's almost done. That didn't take so long. Okay. So there we go. All right, now, the one thing we are going to have to be careful of, though, is that this new uh, deconstructor is going to use quite a bit of CPU. So if it uses more CPU than our base can handle, then we might have to treat it like something, you know, that we set down, use, and then pick back up when we're done. Uh, but, and I'm just going to stick it out here for now. Um, now let's check our CPU. Ah, yeah, see, so that throws us over uh, the CPU limit. Not by a ton. I mean, we're still at 93%, uh, but it, it does throw us over. So this is not something we're going to leave down all of the time until we get to a point, you know, where we can upgrade to Tier 3 here in the base. So that being the case, let's see. We're going to need an input and an output for... For that guy so let's go and grab um i should have some extra bins yeah i've got lots of extra bins what we'll do here is we're just going to set up um a temporary you know bin there for for the constructor to use and let's go ahead and regroup i know it's going to blow away our custom switch but it's all right not a big deal and we're just going to call this um decon for short for deconstructor okay and then we're going to set this to the decon um thingamadoodle there we go um the other thing we might run into a problem with power because i think we only have one small jenny on this base so if you know the game will let us know for if, if we're over overdoing it and we can shut it off and then you know put another uh generator down if we need to but here's what I'd like to do. So let's go ahead and go to the base and we'll go to the deconstructor um, deconstructor container. And I don't know that I need 64 heavy windows. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of windows, my God. What would I do with those? I mean, you know, if all goes according to plan, what I hope is going to happen in this series, guys, is that we will eventually find a really cool place to build our permanent base somewhere off in the stars um and in that when that happens you know stuff like this would come in handy for that base but i mean that's quite a long ways off and i just you know we're gonna we're gonna deconstruct this stuff okay so we're gonna deconstruct all the antennae oh that's all we can hold okay so let's go ahead and start this now and what's our power draw? So let's go here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're fine. That's not drawing hardly any power at all to speak of. We're going to get a, a little bit of titanium or sathian plates out of this too, which is good. What's it taking apart right now? The antenna? Oh, no, it's taking apart the, the heavy windows. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to let that do its thing. And um, like I said, though, when we're finished deconstructing, I'm just going to pick this back up because it does put us over the CPU limit. And it's not something we have to have down all of the time, but it is very nice to have this now. And you know, the other thing, too, is we can actually put this on our, our capital vessel. You can now put these on the capital vessel. That's, I think that's new with Alpha, you know, when Alpha 12 came out, I think. I'm not a positive about that, but I think it might be. Um, so let's go here and put some more fuel. We'll put this in there because I pulled that off of the off of the uh, drones. Then we'll go to mountain base and output. Um, where in the hell is all of our fuel? Oh, I guess it's I guess it's in the input. We should probably move that to the output. I'm thinking. 
because we don't need fuel in the input. We have a little bit of biofuel there too. We got a crap ton of promethium. Um, we're 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 doing pretty good on the basic resources. Copper is a, a little bit low, but it's not terribly low. Neo is a little bit low, but not terribly low. Um, but you know, it's the Z and the E and the E especially that we're uh, that we're very short on at the moment. We're gonna be you know on the lookout for that sort of thing. Okay, cool. So let's see how you doing, man. So you're still working on those big ass windows. We're getting, <laughs> getting a lot of good resources out of those. Holy crap, man. Okay. Well, we're going to just let that run and do its thing for now. Um, do I have any fuel in here? You know what we should do, actually, is we should get some of that Promethium going in uh, these guys. So let's go to input. Let's take, I don't know, about maybe a quarter of this promo. And we're just going to have these guys just start making, you know, like, as much uh, s small Promethium as they can. And, you know, the nice thing about these guys is it's free, right? Doesn't cost us any energy to make energy in these guys, which is why I have kept them around. So, yeah, they'll make us a shitload of little small um, Promethium packs there. Okay, guys, well, let's see here. What do we, what do we want to do next? I guess let's go ahead and, you know, we're going to let this run. And I'm going to move this over to the output. I uh, know we want to go to mountain base, output controller. Let's just move that over. So that gives us a little bit of room. Um, can we put more of these in here? No, not very many more. <laughs> but we're going to break down the generators. We're going to break down the O2 tanks, probably the doors, all these consoles and tech equipment. Because, I mean, we don't need that much stuff. Uh, probably the general devices, some of the doors, the force fields. Unfortunately, we don't get Z and E from the force fields anymore like we used to, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And uh, we'll just kind of keep breaking that stuff down. This should actually probably go in the input now that I think about it. My voice is a little squeaky today. I'm not sure why. I don't have a cold or anything. But it is. Squeaky voice. Let's throw that stuff in there. I want to keep some of this in here because I'm actually using it for upgrading. Um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go sell uh, some of the stuff that we have. And I'd actually like to stop by the uh, the space station anyway and just make sure that our capital vessel is completely repaired. It could be that there's a little bit of damage on some of it. And what we might end up doing, you know, towards the end of this episode is we have... The drone base is, is going to be really hard to take out because the damn thing's probably shielded. That's going to be, I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to do about that. But we've got a, a vehicle port here, some defense towers, uh, the patrol vessel HQ, which I haven't really done anything with that for a couple of alphas now. So I don't know if it's different than it used to be, but it used to be, you know, there really used to not be a whole lot to it in terms of like it's just its own defenses and that sort of thing. And we have a comma ray here. So we can take that stuff out. There's a couple of more. Uh, there's this capture barge. And then there's a couple more outposts too that we could also take out. Uh, and pretty much try and get the Xerax. Uh, you know, all but the drone base eliminated on this planet. The drone base is a, is a whole nother matter though. Because, you know, that thing's shielded. So, you know, I have to think about how we're going to deal with that. If, if we end up dealing with it at all on this planet. Because it's really hard, you know, to take out, take out, a, you know, a shielded enemy base. It is certainly possible. I've done it before, but it can be really tough to do. So we'll worry about the drone base uh, at, at the last. But let's at least get the rest of the Xerax annihilated from this planet and get all their resources from them. Okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and... How's our fuel? Yeah, we're doing good on fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go stop off at the... Why in the hell are my shutters not working? Those things are so buggy, man. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to the Polaris trading station. And we're going to repair if we need to. 
and then we're going to sell um, most of this extra weaponry and stuff that we have, make a little bit of bank, and then after that, maybe what we'll do is we'll go mix it up uh, with these, you know, these remaining Xerax uh, POIs. All right, let's go to station services. Get cost. Holy shit, fifty-eight thousand one hundred thirty-six credits. Uh, that's more than we have. What in the hell is so damaged? <laughs> Good lord. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, we have no damaged components whatsoever, um, but that suggests that maybe we have some blocks missing? Or at least just damaged, I guess? I don't know. Hmm. Um. Okay. Units, uh. 92 credits per thingamadoodle. Uh, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Before we, before we do that, yeah, we only have 36,000. That is, man, that is super expensive. Do we really have that many damaged blocks? We have no damaged components at all. Wow, that's a lot of moolah. That is a lot of money. I wonder if I should maybe just, you know, kind of do a sweep over the ship with my drone and the repair gun and just, you know, try and repair stuff that way. All right, well, let's not worry about that for the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and sell some stuff here. So we're going to connect to the ore and wood. Now, we do want to keep a couple of backup weapons right so let's go to here and let's keep a backup no not that we'll keep a backup uh, t2 multi-tool we'll keep a backup pulse rifle tech 2 a backup shoddy are any of these snipers tech twos they're not maybe we'll keep a backup um, laser rifle and a backup one of those. I think everything else we'll probably just go ahead and end up selling. Okay. Yeah, that was a little more expensive than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Are we, uh, what are, what's our rep with these guys? Are we friendly or are we honored? I cannot remember. With Polaris Megacorp, we are friendly. Okay. At some point we should probably try and get honored with them because then we can make a little bit more bank when we sell stuff. Alright, so you will buy T2 projectile pistols. Let's connect to this. Oh, do we have to have those in our own inventory? Looks like maybe we do. Okay, he doesn't have anything else that we want to sell. You know what? I did, I did loot a platinum bar, but he, he's not buying any, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, now let's go to Bertram. Let's see what we can sell to this guy for. So let's sell all the snipers that we have. We'll sell the multi-tool, uh, assault rifles, shotguns. Checked out pistols. I think that's it, right? Let's sell these too. Because we don't need those at all. Um alright, so you don't want that other projectile pistol. No, nope, he's maxed out, so we'll have to worry about that one later, I suppose. Okay, so what are we up to? We're up to 81,000 uh, coin now. And right over here is our ATM machine. Wait, where's the ATM machine? Yeah, it's over there. Let's deposit all these in there. Add a little bit more to our bank. It's not a whole lot, but every little bit counts, right? Every little bit counts. Um, Do you have, now that I think about it, You don't sell crop lots, but you do sell food. Let's buy some Dino Stew Roy L. I don't know, we'll buy like four of those. 
And I'm kind of in the mood for some pie. So let's buy some pie. And maybe a pizza. Nope, he doesn't have any pizza for sale. Okay. I don't want to burn a whole stew. So let's get something that's a little bit less. How about a veggie burger? That should get us close to topped off. There we go. 490, that's pretty good. Okay. So... Um, do we have a secure bot, secure bot, secure bot, agri station? I wonder if Aunt Mary, well, we can also check with Aunt Mary up on the space station too. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and press F4. And we're going to put this in our fridge for now. Let's load up all of these extra thingamadoodles here. Alright, let's go up into the space station. Ah, oh, shit. He's loaded up, though. He's not gonna... We can't sell any to him. Alright, well, we'll have to do that later, I suppose. Anything else? We can sell some night vision to him. So... Uh, we'll sell one of those. We, we do want to keep one of those in our inventory. So he does have some large optronics, but oh my god, look how much that costs. Whew. We're going to have to do a lot more selling of shit before we can afford that. My word. Okay, that's expensive. Uh, what was that again? Just out of curiosity. Um... 134,000 and change. What is this guy? Where's the... This guy over here. What does he sell him for? 123. Oh, man. He's got a way better price than the other guy. But, man, that is still incredibly expensive. Uh, all right. Let's go down to uh, the guy down in the conference room. He's the one that's going to buy all of our extra weapons. Oh, look at that view. That's cool, man. I love it. Mr. Xerax. How are you, sir? We want to sell some shit to you. So, let's... He's not going to buy any T2 shotguns. He's loaded up, but we can sell... Uh, yeah, he does buy the normal T1 pulse rifle. Okay, so let's sell those. Um, We have an extra... Okay, we got to be careful that we don't sell the stuff on our toolbar. I've done that before, and it's kind of bit me in the ass. I don't know that anybody buys us assault rifle tech twos unless the pirates do. I don't know. We'd have to check those guys out. All right, well, let's see. Miniguns. You will at least buy some of those, which is good, because I hate the miniguns. They suck. So we'll sell. Just hit the buy button. Well, that was dumb. Well, we, just lost <laughs> we just lost some money on that deal. Oh, man, it can't take me anywhere. I'll tell you what. Can't take me anywhere. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. Give me give me a break. Give me a break. Um, okay, I guess that's it then, because he's not going to buy the Tech 2 assault rifles unless something's changed. Um, yeah. He's not going to buy those. I don't know. Maybe we'll just end up... If we can, maybe we'll just melt those down in the deconstructor. I'm not sure if we can or not. I'll have to check. All right, guys. Um. Oh, shit. I forgot to check Aunt Mary's. Doggone it. All right. You know what, though? We got an ag agri station down this way. I think there's an Aunt Mary there. So let's go see. What I'd like to do is I'd like to buy some more crop lots. I mean, you know, buy them, make them, doesn't matter. Just want to get them done so we can get our, our garden going in, you know, full swing, basically. Okay. Man, look at all these crops in here. Aunt Mary, we need... You don't have any crop plots? Are you shitting me? <gasps> okay, but you know what? They have pumpkin sprouts. I'm going to buy those. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? We want space oranges. We want... 
uh, alien flowers. And we want spice. So we'll at least buy those. Okay. Well, the guy up at the space station sold the crop plots. So I guess I should run back up there really quick and grab some of those because I want I want to get some of those. All right, guys, we are over the uh, patrol vessel station and other stuff. Uh, so let's see, we've got some defense towers, a comrade. I don't think the comrade has any weapons on it. I don't think. But uh, the vehicle port probably does, and of course the defense towers will. I don't know if the patrol vessel itself, or patrol vessel headquarters rather, itself will. Now the last time I was over in this area, there was uh, the actual patrol vessel itself. But I'm not seeing it. So, I think what we'll do is let's go scope out the vehicle port first. That's the POI that I know we can raid for sure. And uh, the common raid we should be able to raid too. I man, I don't know. I don't think there's a whole lot to the common raid, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get down here. Okay, I think I do see a plasma, a couple plasma guns on the vehicle port. One of our guns is reloading. Okay, so that takes care of the vehicle port. Let's take out this defense tower. Looks like this is just a single gun defense tower. All right, so much for that, eh? All right, let's go do the next uh, defense tower. This is a four gun guy. And uh, if it's like the other one we took out, there should be a couple, you know, three, I think there's like three loot crates in this one. Okay, that takes care of that one, and then let's see, we have one more defense tower over here. Takes care of him. All right, now, does the Comrade, I don't think the Comrade has any defenses. Let's get that rocket drone out of the way. Excellent. Okay, let's check out the patrol vessel. If this is like it used to be, I don't think there's any big guns at all on here. There might be a couple sentries, but I'm not 100% sure. And that begs the question, where the hell is the patrol vessel, by the way? <laughs> well, there it is right there. Okay. So it's a Korat class cutter. All right, let's go. Um, let's go mix it up with that thing and let's see what happens. Maybe we'll die horribly. I don't know. We'll see. It's probably not going to be quite as easy to take over as everything else was. Okay, where in the hell is that thing at again? Okay, it's off this way. We just took out its pretty much all the defenses around its base. Um, that's not like. No, okay. I was going to say, that's not like near the um, drone base, is it? There it is right there. Okay, this might be a little more interesting. So we're going to have to just make sure we watch our shields. And um, let's check, double check our weapons too. So we're, our turrets are set to shoot at turrets. Um, I don't think this vessel has mounted weapons, but just in case it does, let's put that on too. And let's set this to capital vessels. Okay. Alright, let's just see what happens here. This could be interesting. If we, if, you know, if we get at it at the right angle where it can't 
bring all of its weapons to bear on us, we might be okay. Okay, well, we got a fight on our hands, that's for sure. Alright, well, looks like um, we're doing a number on it. Okay, we just got a little sentry gun on the front, which we're not really too worried about. I think we've taken all of its big guns out, you guys. Here, let's zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, cool. Let's um let's switch our ROE to thrusters. Alright, now let's see. Now it's just start targeting its targeting targeting. Good lord, I can't talk. Targeting its thrusters. Ideally we want to get its bottom thrusters because then it'll I mean in theory anyways, right? sink to the ground. Seems like it wants to target the, the thrusters on the upside, not the ones on the downside, but I mean, I can't control it, so it's just going to do what it's going to do. Okay, she's dropping. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Looks like we're going to be going underwater, though, to, <laughs> to get it. That's all right. We can handle that. Okay, cool. Get down right about there. As close as we can. Make sure we're level. Uh, anything else nearby? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go see what this thing has inside of it. I'm very curious. Korat Class Cutter. Let's check it out. Is this going to be one of those things where there's abs absolutely nothing on this ship? Okay, there's a thingamadoodle there. There's the core. So it's got it's got some... Here, let's take our auto level thing off because that's just being a pain in the butt. It's got some storage bins and a console... Well, the only way we're going to really be able to do anything major with this is if we uh, put our own core in. There we go. Oh, damn, almost, almost. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, that gun doesn't quite know what to do with us. Okay, let's see if we can get turned around here. We just got to get close enough to... There we go. All right, core is destroyed. It's an RCS. I guess we already have that on our toolbar. Wait, what? Oh man, did I just get kicked out? Oh, it disappeared! Oh, you stupid game! That's bullshit! 
<laughs> it disappeared, you guys. Oh, can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, you know what? I didn't really see anything on that ship in the way of a loot crate anyway. I mean, there was a couple of containers. Oh, man. What the hell? Come on, Elyon. If we, if we go to all the trouble to take out a patrol vessel, we should be able to loot the damn thing. I mean, I know, you know, you, you want to get rid of it eventually. I'm okay with that, but you get rid of it too damn fast. What the hell? Ugh. All right, guys. Well, you know what? Whatever. Can't do anything about it now. Apparently, when you take down a patrol vessel and you blow the core, it disappears within, like, what was it? Like, 30 seconds after I did that? I mean, shit. Is it really gone? Or is it a, gra a graphical glitch? Let's just, <laughs> let's just double check. Yeah, it's really gone. Oh, man. It is really gone. Okay, well, it's what it is. It was a fun adventure, if nothing else. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go back to the patrol vessel station and, and, you know, kind of back in that area. And just kind of look around a little bit. And then, you know, we're going to have some, some good salvage over there, too, that we can do. And maybe what I'll do is I'll bring you back in the next episode while we're still over here and just kind of show you, you know, what's been salvaged and and go from there and you know I, w I want to explore the patrol vessel headquarters too because there is some oh yeah we got to do the vehicle port too that's right there is some stuff in the patrol vessel headquarters but it never used to be anything really substantial so i don't know if they've changed that or not but anyway um so we got that to do like i said we, we have two more outposts just level one they're both yeah they're both level one outposts so i might even just take those things out on my own you know off camera because you guys have already seen me do you know an outpost and you know just keep working on getting resources and that kind of thing uh, but very soon i think we're going to go ahead and leave this system and start doing some exploration um and you know start looking for some of the higher level ores like the z and the e in particular and continue working towards getting the black light in so that we can really go exploring uh, so that's the plan. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.